I am in the closet today and I am going to do a get ready for work chat with me tutorial type deal. Um, and today I'm going to be uh, trying out my brand new uh, Wet n Wild photo, photo Focus Foundation. Now I mentioned in one of my videos before that Maybelline is discontinuing my favy favy foundation and it's the Maybelline Better Skin uh, Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. Um, this stuff has a lot of different qualities for acne prone skin. It helps control oil. It has acolytic acid in it and uh, it is of course oil free. But um, yeah, they're, they're discontinuing that for some odd reason and the new formula is out actually in stores right now. You can buy it at Walmart or whatever drugstore that you use. And it's just the Better Skin Foundation, the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. It's very thick, and I would totally go there if I didn't have really oily, acne-prone skin. It has no acne benefits in it, and I'm just going to do a hard pass on that. Since it's hard for me to find foundations that are full coverage and help with my acne, I have to find, you know, other ways to prevent acne. Hiccup. <clears throat> prevent acne with just regular foundation and if I'm gonna spend that much money on skincare and foundation I want a cheap foundation that works obviously so I'm going to try this out this was six dollars at Walmart my local Walmart um, I have heard a lot of people rant and rave over this it's a uh, probably medium to full coverage I don't know I haven't tried it yet um, but a lot of people say that this is like really awesome. It is a dupe for uh, a couple of high-end foundations. I think someone said it was a dupe for the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, so I have high hopes for this and uh, I'm excited. So let's get started. So before I do anything, you know that it's always good to prime your skin. And for your foundation, it just sits better, it sits prettier, it blends better, and it, it just, it's all around just a better fall on your face. So today I'm going to use the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Moisturizer Primer 2-in-1. I got this in that sample uh, Sephora Play Box that I got a couple days ago, or yesterday, <laughs> and uh, I've used it three times since I've gotten it, and this stuff is awesome. And I don't know if it's because my skin is like overly dry because of the really cold weather we've been having in Florida or if they, their formula is just really rock on. But this primer and moisturizer is amazing. And y'all are fixing to see it. I have such a hard time with primers and moisturizers because sometimes the primers with the, you know, two in one can really break out my skin. It's just not worth it. For me sometimes but I took a chance because I told you guys I was going to see how it did for me and this stuff is amazing I'm actually going to Ulta soon with a friend cheetah said tomorrow or the next day and I'm going to pick me up a full squeezy tube of this stuff because it is just freaking amazing it's not too heavy it glides on and it just makes your foundation look flawless as do many of the Smashbox primers do, but this is just really cool. So uh, I prime the face. I'm also going to take a bit of my Dr. Brandt Pores No More foundation. This stuff is also amazing. It's a bit pricey, uh, but use you. But uh, I just put it right here on my nose and on my T-zone and my forehead because that's where I get oilies the most. And it really diminishes fine lines and, and pores. Um, it has a very nice scent to it, kind of like tea tree. And it also, you know, helps with the acne that's already on your face and prevents it from getting worse. So I did that. So here's for the big moment. Oh, it's kind of cool. All right, so you can see already that the photo Focus Wet n Wild Foundation does not have a pump. It has a spatula. So that's interesting. All right. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face and uh, yeah.
All right, now I'm going to take my Artiste oval brush, and this is oval number eight, six, eight. I don't have my glasses on, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm gonna take this guy right here, and I'm just going to smooth out the foundation. You always, always wanna get your neck and blend the foundation down. That way, the rest of your decollete and your neck match your face because I have done that before <laughs> and it's not cute it's not cute that is definitely medium to full coverage medium to full coverage absolutely and the wow wow y'all whoa Do y'all see that? I know my lighting's kind of janky, but did you do y'all see that? How even that is? No way! Huh. How do you like that? This is cheaper than my Maybelline one that I accidentally bought six bottles of because it was being discontinued. It's just six bottles. It's just six you know I mean just, you know, just in case you know all of them break and you need more and you know what if you lose one and you know you need another one <laughs> yeah yeah addiction is real guys addiction is real this is so bad. This is so excessive. Okay. But dang. All right. When Wild well came to play, I'm going to set this beautiful, even toned face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I'm also going to bake. And all baking is, is you taking an excess amount of um, setting powder or loose powder, putting it and putting it really thick onto places you want to set you know, so that way it just locks it, that foundation locks, it doesn't move, it doesn't shift, it doesn't break up, anything like that. It's basically making a super glue effect to the foundation on the areas underneath you ba underneath the baking that you're doing. So I usually do my chin, and remember, I am going to work tonight. So <laughs> I work as a waitress, and um, things can get a tad greasy back there so I really want this to stay and I really don't want to get shiny because I like to look my best at work no matter I'm gonna go go ahead and do my eyes out eyebrows and stuff like that off camera so that I'm not taking too much um, away from the foundation I really want to kind of keep the spotlight on the foundation for right now if you do want an eyeshadow tutorial or an eye, a specific eye makeup look that you want to see me do please comment below or you know do a thumbs up or anything like that let me know what y'all want to see I mean I am up for anything so if you guys want to see you know a certain look a certain eyeshadow a certain brand to try out you just let me know put it in the comments and I will do it for you guys I'm all about pleasing so I'll be right back. I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'm going to do my mascara, liner, and then brows, and then I'll see you back here in a little bit. And we're back. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go over kind of what I did while I was off camera. Um, on the eye look, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Uh, on the eye is I did a brownie um, smoky effect, and then on the inner corner, I used a bright red. In fact, I used the um, Venetian red right here on the corner going into my inner corner right here um, and I kind of smoked it out along the lash line right here and here and then for liner I actually did um, I've been on this new kick uh, about nude liners I really enjoy nude eyeliners and this is the Rimmel London Scandalize um, eyeliner in nude and what I do is I just put it on the waterline if I'm doing a a really really dark um, eye like a smoky eye I don't want to pile on too much 
black eyeliner because it's really just gonna drown out my eyes. It's gonna make them look short. It's gonna make them look smaller and squintier. So I use this instead of uh, black. It makes my eyes wide. It makes them look awake. It makes them look bright. And it just, I really, really enjoy a nude or white eyeliner. I also use um, this one from Wet n Wild. This white eyeliner, it's freaking huge. But uh, I use this guy too uh, on different shades. If you know, I'm doing like a different, you know, white eyeliners are talked about enough. So, highly recommend these. They make you look more awake even when you're not, <laughs> and uh, they just look really good on the eye. Speaking of awake, I actually have been trying the Clinique Pep Start right here, and I put it underneath the eyes right here. And surprisingly, y'all, it really does work. I love this little guy. I'm gonna take him everywhere I go because it just really like gets rid of all the puffiness and the bags and oh my gosh it just makes you like bing, you know like you're ready and start the day when you're really not when you want to go home instead of go to work for eight hours and deal with mean people and chicken wings so Kara, I always use my go-to and it's the essence slash princess right here excellent mascara very affordable $3.99 at Ulta I would highly recommend this um, and of course for priming my eyelids on my eyeshadow, I use the e.l.f. eyelid primer. Uh, I know it kind of looks kind of nude, but when you put it on the eyelid and then blend it out, it turns transparent. So I really like this guy and this was like $2. Mm -hmm. So I think that's every- oh, I, I also use on my brows the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Pomade just for a quick brush of the eyebrows to make them look more, uh, make them look darker, more uniform, and make sure they don't go anywhere because my eyebrows have the tendency to kind of stick out sometimes and just say hello to everybody. Gotta love those eyebrows. It's like my four-year-old that wants to say hello to everybody and you're just like, please don't touch him. Anyway. So I've stopped there. I am fixing to wipe away this bake right here underneath the eyes. Also, it's a good thing to bake and then do your eye makeup because if you get any fallout, which all palettes have fallout, um, from your eyeshadow, it doesn't stick on your face. It actually um, goes away when you wipe the, the bake away and that way you don't have fallout all over your cheeks. The more you know. I'm really, really surprised y'all about this foundation. It's looking better and better the more I fiddle with it. It's just, uh, I, I, I think I found the new love, which is really sad because I have seven, I have seven, I have seven bottles of that foundation that I fell in love with from Maybelline and I'm a little bit obsessed. So. And again, I'm going to take my staple. I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is an excellent, excellent light bronzer for me. It really just blends out beautifully. And it doesn't look muddy on my skin. To all of my fair chickadees who thought you couldn't wear bronzer, you can. I am full living proof of that because I am just pale 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 and my husband is Puerto Rican and it's dark 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 and I cry a little in the summertime because he can just get so deliciously golden brown and here I am over here looking like lobsters anyway a uh, very affordable bl uh, bronzer and it, it, it just, it doesn't make you look muddy. It doesn't make you look orange. It just gives you the right amount of glow. All right, and if you see what I'm doing, I'm going right below my cheekbone right here. I'm carving that out a little bit just to give it some definition. I'm going up in the temples, on my hairline, pretty much getting it in my hair. That way everything looks uniform. I'm going back down on this temple right here and then just going straight just below that cheekbone. I'm also going to take a little bit right here and just go right there. Always put a little bit of your bronzer on your neck because you don't want your face to look darker than your neck because that's, that's no fun. Okay. See how I just gave it that nice healthy glow? The glow that I wish I had all the time? Okay, so next I'm going to take my NYX Professional Makeup Blush Palette. Uh, I, this is a, another one of my diehards. I love this palette. If I could get it open. 
Um, it has a bunch of great shade range ranges um, and just stuff that, I mean, you can literally use this palette for years and never do the same look twice. So I'm going to use this guy right here, this uh, bronzy, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, and I'm just going to plop that right above the bronze thing we just did. And for blushes like this, you don't want to go directly right here because it's going to it's gonna make you look kind of like you have a um, sunburn on your cheeks. You want to start about right here, right where the meat of the cheek is, and you want to pull it back. And you want to just keep doing that. Light, light product. Build it up. It's always easier to build up than to take away. And you just massage that back towards your ear that way it has more of a natural look and it's not just BAM in your face blush okay so things blend phenomenally on this foundation I am so happy y'all with this look I mean I can't believe how this six dollar foundation is doing better than my holy grail over there but I will always use my holy grail. They will, most of them will probably expire before I get to use them. I feel kind of like an idiot because I bought so many. But sometimes when you find a good thing, it's hard to see it go. But like I said, I told y'all I was looking for a replacement or um, you know another type of foundation that worked for me that was affordable. And I think I just found it because this is giving me coverage. This is giving me uh you. A unified look a nice blended uniform airbrush look and I am NOT mad about it y'all I am happy this is great I'm so happy okay I will do one wear test when I get home and it'll be about eight hours after I've gone into work I can't really film while I'm waitressing so please understand that but um I am going to when I right when I get home walk through the door I am going to turn on my camera and give y'all a review because I, I, I think this is gonna be good I just hope it stays on my face I hope it doesn't break up I hope I don't get too shiny so we'll see about that but I, as of right now I'm absolutely loving my foundation I'm loving the way it looks I'm loving the way it does with my other makeup it does with my other formulas it just it looks very very pretty yeah, it looks really, really natural. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a face full of makeup. Uh, it's very light. It's very wearable. It's just an all-around good foundation. And I, am, I, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am really, really surprised and so happy right now. So I'm just going to put on a little lip balm. Um, nothing too crazy. I think I'm okay, this is it. This is the finished look. I'm ready. I'm going to go get dressed for work. And when I come home, I will turn on my camera for you guys and review the situation that's going to be going down when I get home. And just to give you a heads up, I am shiny, I am oily, and I am a hot mess when I get home because I've been running around and in and out of the kitchen all night long. And I'm really going to put it to the test tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to have any suggestions for my next video, leave the comments down below in the comment section and give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And of course, check back every Tuesday and Friday for a new video Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. So I'm doing my final check-in for my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation that I just got. It's about $6 at Walmart. I am not mad about this. Yeah, this is awesome. Excuse my little face demons over here, you know, time of the month, all that jazz, um, hormones and stuff. But um my face looks great it doesn't look overly shiny I still feel like I have some good coverage going on you know my eyeshadow isn't the greatest but we'll talk about that later um, I like it and for six dollars I'm not crying not crying not dying not shedding tears so I this might be my new favorite it's really nice coverage there's no fall out or wear and tear underneath my eyeballs it did not gather 
under my nose, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm showing you, like, up my nose, <laughs> a little invasive, uh, it didn't gather around my nose, uh, it's still pretty good on my chin, I have the roughest time with my chin because I constantly, like, do this or this or this at work, uh, so that's, that's good, I mean, it just, it really looks, it really looks good, I am so pleased, so happy. Just what I'm looking for. It has good coverage. You can't see fine lines and discoloration. No blemishes. You can hear, but they're not going to be there forever. So, but yeah, I, I really like it. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is a A++ in my life, in my world. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's like six bucks. At Walmart, you can go pick it up there, Target, wherever, and they have a bunch of shades. So, I really, really like it. I really do. I'm so happy about that. Don't worry about that. I'll deal with that later. But, uh, I really, really like it, and I would recommend this to anybody. Sorry, I look a little bit rough. I just got home from six hours of working. So, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to bed. So, Good night, you guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment in the, um, leave a comment in the comments below to give me ideas for brand new videos. And, uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Good night, y'all. Bye.